Hello everyone and welcome back. Let's get to this look. Can you guys tell I love this product right here? It's just a perfect base for eyeshadow. So we are gonna pat that right in and with a fluffy brush we are gonna blend that out. Now I'm just gonna pat a purple eyeshadow right into the crease and really blend that all out. I have tape at the end because we really want to sharpen that wing. Right here I'm making sure it's blend out to the eyebrow. Then I'm going with a darker purple and blend it right into the crease to gradually blend out smoothly. Just keep adding more purple to where you're happy with your results. Now with the fluffier brush right here, I'm going to use it with no product to really blend out those colors. Now I'm going in with the black eyeshadow to really darken up that crease with the purple. Right here I'm going back with the dark purple on top of the black to really blend it out. And with the fluffy brush I'm going back to blend it. Using the Morphe concealer in white I'm going to use that to cut the crease. And really follow your eye structure so that way the look goes with you. Now I'm going to wipe off the eyeshadow on the bottom of where I made my crease. Then I'm going to base my eyes with the P. Louise Pro Base. Right here I'm going in with a small thin brush. It really helps to create a very sharp line for your cut crease. With a thin brush, I'm going in with a very light purple. I'm trying to create like little thunderbolts as we see in a marble stone. You really want to create weird lines so that way it's not cohesive with each other. some white eyeshadow in between those lines then I'm going to outline the lines with the darker purple to really bring out that effect of marble then I'm going to go in with the black and just darken up the middle of the purple. Here I'm going in with a blue tone highlight to really put some shine into my eyes. Now 
And of course, we can't forget to put some gold in it, just like what you see in the marble stone. And now it's face time, so I'm using Milk Hydro Primer. I'm going to pat that all over my face. And then I'm going to go in with the Morphe Concealer on my T-zone and blend it all out. I really love how this foundation turned out, so I'm gonna use it again and just really blend it all out with the beauty blender. Then we're gonna set the face with some setting powder under the eyes and chin. Then using the Morphe palette, I'm gonna contour my cheeks. My jawline, my chin. I like to use powder. I feel like I have more control to blend it out into my foundation. Then we're gonna cut that contour and wipe off any excess setting powder on the T-zone. Then I'm going in with a moonlighter called Jellyfish and put that all over my cheeks, my nose, my Cupid's bow and chin. I really like this brush from Black Moon Cosmetics. It's really nice and fluffy and puts highlighter beautifully on. I did not know this was supposed to be a highlighter. Oops. But I love it as blush. I'm going to go in with some eyelashes from Lunar Angel Eyelashes and Sky Gazer. This is the first time I try out these lashes and I like them. They're really cute. Last but not least, Inner Corner Eyeliner. And I'm just going to go with the pink lip gloss. I did not know what color lips would look good with this eye look. Lastly, setting spray. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the look, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.